Today is also the hottest day of the year so far, and with these hot temperatures, you may be reaching to turn on your AC. Our Jillian Brooks is on your side with some tips to keep your air flowing efficiently all summer long. So Jillian, what do we need to do? Absolutely, Claire. Well, unfortunately, it's only going to get hotter from here or fortunately, depending on what type of weather you prefer. But there are things that you can do now that when looking at your air conditioning that will save you time and money this summer. Whether you're ready or not, the weather is heating up. You know, every time this year when it gets hot for the first time, our phones and everybody else that does what we do start blowing up. And so everybody's going to be super busy right now. And so if you do suspect a problem, go ahead and start calling somebody sooner rather than later. But there are things that you can do now to get ready. First, check your unit outside. Clear off any leaves or weeds that may be around it. Consider changing the air filter so the air flows properly and check on your duct work. And that duct tape after a period of years can kind of start losing its stickiness mm -hmm. and it'll start coming apart in those seams. And so you don't want to spend money to make the air cool, but then the air doesn't come out of the vents. It goes somewhere else. Once your air is on, pay attention to the unit. If it starts making weird sounds or isn't cooling your house down, that's a sign that it could break down later this summer. If you hear it cycling off and on, like turning off, on, off, on, off, on, that can indicate an issue. It really shouldn't cycle off and on that rapidly. And if it's been a few years, scheduling routine maintenance can save you some money. They estimate that for every year you don't do maintenance on your system, you lose 5% efficiency. So if you've gone four or five years and you haven't maintenance your system, it's operating at best 75, 80%, which is going to cost you more money. Now, another thing you can look into now is your insulation. If it's getting thinner, it might be a good time to replace it. Not only will that keep your home cool this summer, but also warm when winter comes back. Reporting live in Birmingham, I'm Jillian Brooks, WBRC Fox 6 News.